Well, new tonight, it has been labeled as a public health issue by city leaders. The lack of public restrooms in downtown Columbus. But after more than two years of waiting, a few are finally being built. TTV's Richard Solomon live in downtown tonight with when you could expect to see those go up. Richard. Andrew, very soon, sooner than you would actually think. I'm actually standing next to where one of the three public restrooms will be built down here in, Colum in downtown Columbus, for that matter. This is actually just off of High and Long Street. And this afternoon, I spoke with one man who has been pushing. He has been pushing for these to come down here. And he tells me, you know, these things could actually make the quality of life better for downtown Columbus. It's the busy hustle and bustle of downtown Columbus. So many places to see, places to eat, but not so many places to go when you have to go. And I mean, go, go. Do you know how many public restrooms are down here right now by chance? That's a great question. Uh, the answer is none. This is Mark Klingler. He's a special projects manager with the Capitol Crossroads Special Improvement District. And he says the issue of no public restrooms was magnified during the pandemic. Even those usual resorts like uh, restaurants or, or businesses where you could go, those places closed down too. So it, it became even more desperate at that point. And the alternative is currently porta potties. Those are unsightly. They're difficult to maintain and keep clean. Uh, most, a lot of people don't want to use them, yeah. quite understandably. Two years ago, Columbus City Council approved $875,000 to build these restrooms. But the plan was almost flushed away. On August 3rd, this lawsuit was filed. A property owner next to a location for one of the restrooms filed a preliminary injunction to stop construction saying the restroom is inconsistent with the use of property. But last Thursday, a magistrate denied the request, meaning construction could flow. They're going to provide this, this need for, for public facilities. They're going to be kept scrupulously clean, and we're going to see to that. The three locations will be at the northwest intersection of Long and High Streets, third and Broad, and one on High Street near CODA's headquarters. To Klingler, having a place to go should be everyone's business. I'll feel com more comfortable being out and around downtown, knowing that if I've got to go, there's a place that I can go. And like I said, these public restrooms could be here sooner than later. Uh, Klingler actually expects them to be fully operational by mid-September. So, of course, we'll keep you updated on this. He told me well, he'll actually invite me out to when they are installed so we can see that process. For now, reporting live in downtown Columbus, I'm 10TV's Richard Solomon. Andrew, Richard.